Hi guys, today we have the Coprose window robot from Gearbest. It gets around 140 to 150 pounds and today I'm going to unbox it and give it a good old test. Okay, let's open her up. Okay, so you get the remote control and you also get a battery with it, a CR2032 battery. Here are the extra uh, ring cloths. I think they're machine washable as well. A user manual with um, English and other languages as well. So this is the actual cleaner. Look out of this. Okay, there she is. Looks pretty smart. Start button there, power button and your plug for your mains. At the bottom there you have a set of cloths which are on these things here, these black rings. You get spare rings as well which you can pop on there and wrap the cloth around them. I'm going to take one of these off. Okay, yeah, there you go. Look guys, so it's just like that. That's like a little hat. Uh, you also get this. It's like a harness. So you're going rock climbing. Um, it says when you stick this on um, surfaces on a wall or on windows and there's a chance of it falling off you have to attach this to somewhere which might be a little bit difficult depending on where you are and you might have not have nothing to attach it to anyway but we'll see okay the rest of the box get the other ring there that's two rings and then here got a power pack Takes a figure of eight power lead. That is an extension for the power. So obviously, when you're using the the robot cleaner, you do have to have this, have the power plugged in. So there's going to be a long cable stretching out. And this is your power. I need to get an adapter for it, which I have one. Uh, just need a UK adapter for that, and should be good to go. And that goes straight into there. And that's the contents of the box, guys. I'm gonna put it together now and um, get it working. Okay, guys, so I've got it on the floor at the moment. Got um, power in there at the moment. I'm not using the extension just yet. Um, you can just make out a little red light on there. Uh, so there's power going to the actual device. I've got the controller as well. I've popped the battery in there. And when you press start, the little red blinker blinks. But doesn't do anything you have to press that power button on there for a couple of seconds keep your finger on it and it'll turn on and when it turns on it is bloody loud so hopefully you can hear me and I'll show you how hard this sucks because bloody how it sucks okay so that's reached full power now and if I try to very very hard so it's got a lot of suction power on there guys so you can control it quite a lot with this controller you have a directional pad around the start button there you press up and aim it towards the robot it will start cleaning that way going up that way and when you press stop you can bring it back by pressing down and it'll come back. You have to press stop again and then press left and it'll come this way. Then press stop and then right and it'll go back up that way. For some reason you can't press it while it's in motion. You have to stop it and then choose a new direction. These buttons are pretty much the same at the top. So I press that one it will come towards me there press stop press up and it should go that way press stop and then go right and then it should go that way let's press stop again and that's pretty much it guys for the basic functionality of the controls and everything I'm going to now try and stick it on the window, the extension in, spray a little bit of window cleaner on the uh, the pads and see what it does. So I'm not sure if you can make it out, I think you can. The windows are a little bit grubby and with having a two year old 
his fingers get everywhere. So it might be on the inside and the outside, but I'm gonna uh, give it a try, let's have a look. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the extension cable on, which is here. Uh, this extension cable is um, four meters long. Let's plug her in. Got plenty of flex there. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that, I'm gonna trust it. Okay, okay, so I've got some glass cleaner here. Pop it on the pads. See how that out gets on with that. Now I'm gonna turn her on and stick her to the window. Okay guys, that's stuck to the window as you can see. Yeah, that's well and truly stuck. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click start on the controller and it should just kick into its own program. So it's going up. Going right up there, guys. Hopefully, there's no accidents. All right, so it's hit the top and it's working its way down, I think. Okay, yeah. Well, this is working its way to the side. So it works its way down a little bit and then it starts going across again. So I think it's going to keep doing this until it gets down to the bottom, I think. But if you are deciding to clean somewhere really high, then I would probably recommend using that, uh, that bungee cord. Just in case there is a loss of power to the actual robot. Okay guys, I'm going to press stop on there, let's stop right there. What I'm going to quickly test, because it's quite low, I'm just going to remove the power from the actual hoover, see if it drops off. Oh no, it doesn't. So it seems to keep active for a little bit, but will it just drop eventually? looking good at the moment so if there was a sudden power cut or something your robot should be quite safe still I want to see how long surely it's going to drop okay it's not obviously suctioning as hard as it is when it's properly on You can hear the motors. You can hear the motor getting quieter. There we go. And it dropped. Okay. Let's turn it off a sec. Well, I'm not sure how long that was, but it did feel like a good couple of minutes before the um, before the rubber actually fell. If you look at the bottom of the pads. Uh, feel a little bit damp from the window cleaning. Let's check the window quickly. I don't think you're really going to make it out on camera, but bloody as you know, it's cleaned it off. It has. It's much better. There are marks on the other side. I'm going to give them a go. I'll give that a go on the other side. I've just got to re-apply some window cleaning. 
fluid on the pads and then we'll crack on. So hit the power button. Here we go. In there, shut this door. It's got plenty of flex and slack there to cover the clean. And then take the remote control and just press start. There we go. So this side you can obviously actually see the pads in action. So it's doing the same action as it was on the other side. Go straight to the top and then work its way down from the top. There are obviously some marks that you can't see from here, but um, it's definitely cleaning, definitely. Right guys, I'm going to stop it at that. Press the stop button. Now, I think it's done a pretty damn good job. Uh, yeah, it, 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 you know what, it's, up, it's brilliant. It really is quite excellent. There's nothing to compare now, but I can't see any marks left on the, on the window. That's done a good job. A little bit slow, but um, it's definitely decent for your um, hard to reach places. If you start at the bottom of a window and it goes right to the top. Right, let's turn her off. A little bit grubby, as, you, as I said, you can wash these and machine washable, and you also get replacements in the box. Okay, guys, as you can see, it did a really, really, really good job. I was quite surprised how effective this actually is. I would recommend obviously using proper window cleaning spray. It wouldn't be any good with just water and soap because it would just foam everywhere. So get a nice glass cleaner or window cleaner, spray it on, on the couple of pads and just let it scrub. And the, this got so much suction on there, there's so much pressure when it's spinning around on the window that it can get quite a lot of uh, tough marks off there. So, um, And you've also seen when the power is gone, it will stay there for uh, maybe a couple of minutes max i'd say i didn't i didn't time it but um you better time it on the video so it's safe in that respect uh also the bungee cord which you can use if you are a little bit worried if it's going to fall off but obviously you need to find somewhere that connects to so i think um it's brilliant guys About 140 quid i think of gear best at the moment um i'll include a link in the description below if you want to take a look at it any questions Please comment below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and it's um, sort of helped you out. Yep, so that's it guys. That's the Coprose Window Cleaner. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.